Okay, everybody, just moving on here with my French kick. I want to talk today about Les Samurai. All right, Les Samurai came out in 67. It was directed by Jean-Pierre Melville, and it's pretty much considered to be one of the all-time great French noir films. And I recently viewed this for the first time, so forgive me for never having seen Le Samurai, but uh, I'm on it now. I got to it, and I have some thoughts about this film. First of all, is this film a masterpiece? Well, when you get into defining what is and what isn't a masterpiece, this means something different to, to everyone, okay? It's really a subjective uh, process for, uh, for defining what one considers a masterpiece. And for me personally, it has to do really with the overall package, the overall presentation, and, and really how it, how it moves me personally. Because we're all moved and inspired differently by, by different films uh, for, for different reasons. So uh, for me, I look for the total package. And I will say that on a technical level, there's no question that Le Samurai is a masterpiece, okay? The attention to detail in this film is just incredible, okay? Every shot is calculated. The shadows, the silhouette, the angles, okay? The, uh, the presentation of minimalism. Okay, and the amount of work that goes into to such a minimalistic approach and presentation. Yeah, ju this is just superb work here. And uh, I was downright impressed with this film on a technical level. I mean, I would highly recommend this film for anyone who is just a fan of, of filmmaking and uh, photography, cinematography. Okay, A plus there. Uh, for the first 20 minutes of this film, man, I was on board. I was drawn in. I was like, this is fucking great, okay? Very little dialogue through the first parts of the film. It relies on images to kind of build up the story, to introduce us to the main character, this hitman, this professional assassin. And uh, so I was totally on board. But then the film kind of had to get into more of the story and kind of the, the, the meat and potatoes of, of the plot. And I love open and free-flowing films, subjective films that rely on images. I love that. But I also appreciate the art of good storytelling as well and, and, and character development when it's required. And I felt that this film, you know, it was centered around this uh, assassin and the character development here, the, the payoff, his actions just did not jive. I mean, everything about the character is coolness, all right? You hear, you hear that adjective thrown around in, in discussions of this film. Well, it's cliche, but it's true. This film is fucking cool to look at. I mean, the epitome of cool. This character, he's suave, uh, charming, debonair, or a sleek, not a hair out of place, a real freaking James Bond type guy, a stealth, right? And you're sold this. And then he starts behaving and, and, and making decisions that just don't at all jive with the type of character that's presented. I had three main problems. First of all, he goes into a nightclub slash restaurant, he commits a murder, okay, and he's spotted, okay? Goal number one, a cardinal rule, don't be seen, okay? And he's spotted by multiple people. One primary person gets a great look at him and, and a handful of other people. Okay, but he gets out. The French police round up every potential suspect even close to the description. Hundreds of guys. And he gets, round, uh, he gets rounded up in the sweep. And he gets round up wearing the same trench coat and hat that he had on when he, when he left the scene of the crime. 
So another blunder. He didn't he didn't change his outfit. You know, he didn't lay low. He gets picked up. Now he did establish an alibi that was pretty cool. Okay, but he didn't follow through on the key ends. The the primary the third and, and primary blunder here was that he returned to the scene of the crime. Uh, twice t to my recollection. Now, what kind of professional makes these type of amateur blunders? Okay, it was just, and uh, you know, I'm not one of these people that needs every little plot detail wrapped up in a bow. Okay, that, that's definitely not me, but when it came to this, you know, this film unfortunately got wrapped up in its own coolness and it forgot to, to give the character any real credibility beneath the style but you know what it's a fucking awesome style and I will give it to the filmmaker there I mean this film looks incredible it's just awesome to look at this film so like I said highly recommend it on that level but the film fell short of a masterpiece uh, in my mind just for the the uh, really glaring goofs in the character, the flaws, and it was just um, really hard to digest, and I was kind of let down uh, in the end. I had a lot of expectations of this film, and that, that could have been part of it too, but anyway, those are my thoughts on Les Samurai.